Hi, I'm Andrew Bucklow, and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Wednesday, the 1st of April. We start this morning with some shocking figures overseas, where both the UK and Spain have reported their deadliest days so far, as the coronavirus shows no sign of letting up in Europe. A total of 367 deaths were reported in Britain yesterday, bringing its total to 1,651, while another 849 deaths pushed Spain's total to more than eight. One of the deaths in the UK was a 19-year-old with no underlying health conditions. Back home and four babies are among the latest cases of coronavirus in Victoria, including three under 12 months old and a one-year-old. The Victorian Chief Health Officer emphasised the risk to children was extremely low and deaths are virtually unheard of. All the children are in isolation at home, recovering with their families. In other news, it turns out more young women in their 20s have tested positive for the coronavirus in Australia than any other age group. The surprising find has been put down to their active social lives and higher likelihood of travelling overseas. It comes as a cluster of coronavirus cases have been discovered among backpackers in Bondi who often stay in close quarters in busy hotels. A pop-up COVID-19 testing clinic will now be established in Bondi to help reduce the spread of the virus. There are now more than 4,500 cases confirmed across Australia. 19 people have died and more than 350 have recovered. Now, as we told you yesterday, there are nine cruise ships currently docked in New South Wales or waiting off the coast. One of the cruise ship operators is urging the New South Wales government to adopt a humanitarian approach to its crew members who are ill with COVID-19. The company says it's not safe for the ship to sail away from Australia while there are ill crew members on board. But the New South Wales Police Commissioner wants the cruise ships to leave immediately. Have a listen. There are thousands of people potentially in cruise ships off our coast that aren't members of our state. And if we take them in, then that could well flood our system unnecessarily. All the hard work we've done could be over. These cruise ships have ports that aren't in Australia. They aren't in New South Wales. Federal government has issued warning notices to return to their port of origin. And McDonald's in Australia will now offer customers the ability to pick up bread and milk at the drive through during the coronavirus lockdown. The burger chain said in addition to the usual Macca's menu, customers will also be able to pick up two or three litre bottles of full cream or skim milk, as well as packs of English muffins and gourmet bread rolls. We'll take a break. To the Royals now, and Prince William wants to do his bit to help fight the coronavirus pandemic by returning as an air ambulance pilot. He spent two years flying medics to emergencies before stepping down in 2017. And finally, let's finish with a bit of entertainment, shall we? It was this season's last dinner party on Married at First Sight last night. Michael and Stacey seemed like they were the tightest couple at the table, but their relationship was brought undone by a shocking toast from another bride. Have a listen. I'd like to toast to Stacey and Michael for having the fakest relationship in Australian reality TV history. And I'd like to toast to Stacey for f***ing my husband on the one month anniversary. Cheers to you, babe. I mean, after a toast like that, do you still actually have a sip of your drink? I'd probably reach for a bottle, actually. Anyway, if you want the day's latest coronavirus updates in one place, head to news.com.au and subscribe to our daily newsletter for all the information you need. Bronte will be back with you this afternoon.